Adelina Sotnikova admitted that she had conflicts with her permanent coach Elena Bayanova, although she tried to avoid such situations. Adelina noted that the disputes did not prevent her from building a warm trusting relationship with her coach, and the reason for the conflicts, according to her, in the peculiarities of adolescent psychology. I tried not to contradict my teacher, but a few times inside me boiled up, and I spoke out. One of the most vivid moments that the whole CSKA school remembers was when I told Elena Germanovna, stop yelling at me. And she laughed and replied, Sotnikova, do you know how to speak? I must say that I was absolutely devoted to my coach. When we were choosing music and a dress for the performance, Elena Germanovna always asked me what I liked. So there was no such need to rebel, Sotnikova said. Sotnikova talked about her relationship with her father. The athlete admitted that at first her hobby was encouraged only by her mother, and only her daughter's successes were able to change her father's mind. Over time, he also caught fire with Adelina's sports career and played a significant role in her future success. Dad was against my sports career. I don't know why. However, I was able to change his mind thanks to my victories at competitions. My father began to support, he got so fired up that he himself drove me from school to the rink and back. I often slept in his car when I was tired. Dad definitely played a huge role in my sports career. So did my mom, who put me on skates. In general, a lot depends on parents in sports. If you don't believe in your child, he won't achieve anything. Sotnikova said, Alexei Mishin commented on the information about missing the season Tuktamasheva. Our sport on the eve reported that Elizaveta Tuktamasheva will not compete in the season 2023-24. What do you want to talk about? About Elizaveta Tuktamasheva? This I do not comment yet, sorry, said the coach of the figure skater. Elizaveta Tuktamasheva told what she would like to do after leaving the sport. Have you thought about what to go after a career in the media? Yes, of course I have thought about it. I want to develop somehow, I want to go to the media, if they invite me, I will definitely not refuse. It's interesting to me. And it will probably be interesting for the audience to see me in a different role. But while I'm training, while I'm training physically. Coaching as an option? Yeah. We've decided to end your career. No, I don't. Well, as an option, yes, I am considering, coaching career, but not now. More precisely, not immediately after I finish, but in a few years. Because I want to live for myself, and coaching takes a lot of energy, it's an insanely hard profession. It seems to me, as you started, so until the end you will be a coach, said the figure skater. Elizaveta Tuktamasheva told how she feels about not qualifying for the Olympics. Here you said that girls dream about the Olympics from the age of 5 to 9. Maybe that was my problem, that I was not purposefully like this, here, the Olympics is everything. I started figure skating because I met some girls who were figure skaters. I just wanted to hang out with them, it was funny, fun, I was like, oh, new girlfriends. I need to go to the rink, I need to see them more often. And I'm like that everywhere, if I'm not doing well in my company, I'm not going to do anything. And it's the same with Alexei Nikolaevich, with our mission group, it's very important for me to have a healthy atmosphere in the group. And the Olympics? Well, of course, maybe the first, the second maybe the first one was offensive. Not offensive. But I realized from the very beginning of the season that I would not go because I was in bad shape. Same with the second one. With the third, I was in good shape, but there were three brilliant girls. So why take offense? Why not me, I did not ask such a question at all, because I understood why not me. The answer was obvious there, said the figure skater. Elizaveta Tuktamasheva spoke about earnings in figure skating. We all get the same, both boys and girls, depending on their regalia. If you are the main member of the national team, you have a salary from the federation. But it's not that big. A figure skater can be at the same level as another, but earn less because he's at another club. 
And it's not the kind of money you can save up to buy an apartment. It's like a regular athlete's salary. Only if you win the Grand Prix, European Championship, World Championship, even if we don't take the Olympics, it's a normal round sum. After the World Championships in 2015, I immediately invested in an apartment, but it was not the center, the apartment was small. Media is more important than. Than the result? Well, yes, well, they are at the level. You can be very popular. Like me. But I don't have an Olympic gold medal. And I'm not very popular, haha, but I have some income, I can live off that money. And if my career ends, I will still have, hopefully, some kind of work that will bring me money. And I don't mean coaching, said the world champion. Yana Rukalskaya said that Tuktamasheva will skate in Yevgeny Plushenko's show. Only Mishin has such long livers. I don't have any more examples. Personally, I have a lot of respect for Lisa. I consider Elizaveta a great athlete, she jumped a triple axel at the level of Sonia Muravieva, and even beat her. Even though Sonia was 16 at the time. Athletes of such a level as Lisa should be respected and accept any decisions they make. Now Lisa will be skating in four of our shows. Literally in a week we are going on tour, Saratov, Penza, Samara. Then she will have a great performance at Yevgeny's and St. Petersburg. I wish her to return to the sport. I believe in her. Everything depends only on her and her motivation and health, the producer said. I do not support the statements that this is the end of Lisa's career. She has been in the ranks for a very long time. Athletes are not robots. In my opinion, she needs to rest and gain strength. Everyone's battery is running low. She's the only girl in the world today who can jump a triple axel at that age. It's already a legendary story. There's no other like her in Russia or in the world. She didn't leave the sport. She just took time. I am sure that Lisa has not finished her sporting career, because she has a huge potential. And the most important thing is experience. It takes a lot of strength to jump and skate like that. You have to rest, and then you have to jump and skate. I think it's just a pause. Lisa keeps in shape all the time. She is just the person who kept and will keep herself in good shape, Rukoskaya said. Designer Aliona Kuklaicheva commented on figure skater Aliona Kostornaya's dress for the short program. With Aliona it's like being on a volcano, everything changes with her all the time. Sometimes she and I agree on something, I've already made it, she comes to the fitting and says, let's do this here and this here. I say, let's try it. The main thing is to have enough time. I never say no to her, we work well together. I love her, and my girls love her. I don't know what we'll come up with yet, so stay tuned. We'll change the dress, we can't go naked like that. Although I saw an interview with Aliona, where she said that she saw something like this somewhere, and she was forbidden. Maybe because it didn't fit perfectly, it attracted so much attention. Maybe if it had fit perfectly, it would have been harmonious, but here everything was superimposed at once. If there is a request to redo it, we'll redo it. In fact, we wanted to redo it ourselves. We were at the rentals, we were looking and I was like, who made this? Laughs. But when they came out in jumpsuits, I thought, well, at least the jumpsuits were normal. The jumpsuits will be finalized. There will be complicated wings for Aliona, she's a mockingbird. There will be a complicated design but we'll make it so that it doesn't get in the way. She is now in pairs, of course, there are a lot of nuances. Gosha keeps giving us recommendations on what kind of skirt Aliona should have, he knows better. When she tries on a dress, he takes her to feel whether the skirt slides or not. And he tells us where we should fix it so it doesn't go up. They always come to the fitting together, because there are very important nuances that Aliona doesn't feel. She may be comfortable, but Gosha is not. And he says, no, I can't hold it here, you have to stitch everything here, said Kuklaicheva.